So in the last vlog I showed you how I made a barn door and I promised I would show you how to hang it on the wall and Rosie's reaction. Well, thankfully I got Rosie's reaction for you but I accidentally deleted the files for hanging on the wall. You live and learn. Open your eyes. Oh, wow! Oh, my God! That is amazing! Did you do that? Oh, friend, that's wonderful. <laughs> that is beautiful! So this whole vlogging thing is interesting. I'm enjoying it. It's exciting. It's like a new hobby. But there was a little bit of debate recently in the Hartigan household. And the specific question was, should the editor's personal vlog be posted on the Contact YouTube channel? You see, my daughter argued quite strongly that putting my personal stuff on the Contact website would probably alienate people who came to the site just for the military stuff. And people who wanted to see me build a barn door or something like that might be scared off because of the military aspect. So I asked the audience for feedback and all I got was positive comments. So at least for now, and unless something changes, my personal vlog stays on the Contact YouTube channel.
shame I haven't got steady cam anymore. I'll have to figure that out, won't I? Gotta do a review of that Osmo Mobile. I didn't like it. I'm actually sending it back. So, I've decided to do a comprehensive review of the DJI Osmo. And there's a couple of things I want to say about this thing. The footage I got initially out of it was awesome. I really loved it. I thought it was going to be the bee's knees. But I started to run into some problems after about two, three days. The major problem with this thing for me is that while this device itself, battery life is about four and a half hours as advertised, that's fine. But once you put the phone into it and the two are connected by Bluetooth, the battery on the phone is dead in 20 minutes of videoing. So four and a half hours in this is great, but it's useless because these two devices have to be connected by Bluetooth, which kills the battery in here after 20, 25 minutes. The second problem I ran into, and this is the one that's really killed it, is that the Bluetooth connection, like, like many devices, when you connect two devices together by Bluetooth, they work fine for a while, but after, a fa in this case, after a, let's say two days, three days, I started to notice that the Bluetooth connection, well in fact what I was actually noticing was that the video on the screen was jittering. It's like one of the devices is buffering the Bluetooth connection. And if that's actually affecting the video, which it does, then the video is useless. I mean, what's the point of having a stabilized video if the video is then made unstable by a bad Bluetooth connection? So, they are the two main reasons why I have decided I don't like this device and I am going to give it back if JB Hi-Fi will take it back. Mrs. Hardigan has a new project for me. Another door. This one. She wants that lock taken out. And this push button one put in. change the code on this thing you need a very small screwdriver press C to clear and then set the code but of course you're not allowed to see this of course nothing's ever simple is it you take out that old one you gotta put the new one on and the bloody hole's too big so now I gotta fill that hole I don't believe it. A cunning plan that actually worked. I'm going to be very 
very careful getting that in there. That didn't sound good. Not too bad. 